my favorite part of the restoration is the test drive. And I put 200 miles on all of these vehicles before we send them out to the customers. Hang on, I just need to shift. And uh, so putting those 200 miles on, I drive in all different terrain, ranging from dirt roads that are really windy to highways and more kind of high speed uh, roads. And within that process, I'm just looking for anything that could be a problem down the line, making sure everything works well and the truck basically drives just like the last one did. I'm just looking anything that's outside the ordinary compared to the last one because I, I take the same route on every single drive. So I'll know going up the hill, does it feel good? Does it feel like the, the last one we built? And we're just trying to keep consistency. So. I'm out on a test drive today. I'm at 134 miles and I need to put on 200. So I'm on the highway portion. I'm gonna take it down the highway and see how it does. All right, so we're just getting on the ramp here and we're gonna take this vehicle right up to its cruising speed and push it a little bit beyond, make sure everything is good. And after the 200 miles, we're going to change out that break-in oil, the high sink break-in oil and put in regular oil. Um, I'm also doing adjustments like adjusting the clutch slightly, stuff like that. And uh, let's see how uh, we do on the highway. I think it's gonna be pretty nice. So the speedometer reads about 65 miles an hour. And that's, these, these speedometers are off a little bit, so it's probably about 60. And we're just kind of moving along through traffic here. And once we get to a little less uh, traffic, I'll open it up and we'll get it up to closer to its top speed. So you can hear with the vent flaps closed and the door top windows closed, it's not terribly loud in here. It's, the, the top is not making a racket. There's not a lot of gear whine. There, you can hear a little bit of the exhaust. You can hear a little bit of the tire noise. But I wouldn't say that it's entirely unpleasant. It's not like if it was a diesel, you would be going crazy after a 20 minute drive, but these gas engines are pretty quiet. And with all the sound deadening that we add under the seat box and transmission tunnel, it's actually somewhat civilized in here. Um, I mean, it's still practically a tractor driving highway speed, so you can't expect much. So we're coming to a hill here, and these engines were originally only 70 horsepower. So we make a few improvements to them, a little bit different cam and stuff like that. I like to think that we're making about 80 horsepower. And it's actually coming up this hill nicely without downshifting. Uh, that's not always the case. Uh, but I'm, I'm really just testing, making sure that everything feels uh, normal and correct here. And I'm not, uh, you know, uh, unusually underpowered or anything like that. So uh, everything seems pretty good. Shifted out of overdrive on this long hill. Let's see, cars are going a little bit slower here. Speedo's reading about 62 or so, which is probably 58, and that's about the speed that the rest of the traffic's going in. I wouldn't say I'm going too much slower, um, but good to be in the right lane on these long hills for sure. Okay, we've gotten to the top of the hill. I've shifted in back into overdrive. driving them on the highway for long distances because the vehicle, when it was designed to 
there really were no highways, so you don't want to drive something that was designed to be a tractor in a situation that it just wasn't designed for. But you can if you have to. Uh, if you're going on a shorter trip, that's fine, but it's just keep in mind, it is not a road trip vehicle. You do not want to drive one of these for hours on end on the highway. It is not what the vehicle is designed for. Um, but I think this test drive was successful. Um, we're going to get off the exit here, and we are at 156 miles, so 